Ladies and gentlemen, the Seth Ferrante. Tell us about your 21 years in prison, Seth. I don't always drink whistle pig 15 years. But when I'm in Atlanta with Mike, I make sure I drink the $200 bottle of whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, prison wasn't shit, dog. I mean, you know, it's, it's fucking inhumane. They treat you like worse than a dog. But, I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. You know, you gotta act like it's nothing. You just put on a fucking mask and you do it. Your first person I seen ever done any time would not all tatted up. How'd that go? I'm just, I was never a big fan of needles. I mean, probably lucky because there were a lot of people that did heroin, but I kind of had a version to needles, so I never did heroin. You know, and I didn't, I didn't like tattoos. I mean, really, uh, I don't like sticking nothing in my skin. It's very admirable. I'm sure it was a lot of times that you wanted to give in, get high, get loaded, drunk, whatever. How was that with all that shit in your face, having to do all that time? I, mean, I smoked some weed, but but really, I, I did like by like twelve years, man. I did like clean and sober. I saw different people, you know, getting busted for little amounts of weed and getting more time. And I figured uh, I had enough time, man. I didn't want any more time. I was trying to get out. And I was trying right. to do everything I could to get out. So, you know, stay busy though. You know, I did college courses, wrote books. You know, when you when you do drugs and, and, and shit like that, it's, it's usually because you know you got you got idle time, so you know you just fucking you're trying to fill it. So I try to stay busy, try to keep my mind occupied. Yeah, you're one of a you're one of a kind. I was explaining to my wife, you know, she was drilling me on coming down here. Ah, he's one of your drug buddies. Ah, da, 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 yada yada yada. I said no. I said actually he's not. Believe it or not, he did 21 years, and I don't think he has any tattoos. And I know he's. One, I got one. Actually got this when I was thirteen though when I wanted to right. be a rock, when I right. to be a rock star. <laughs> when I was thirteen and I wanted to be Axl Rose. <laughs> or maybe You're bigger than I thought you'd be in person, maybe truthfully. Or I don't know or if it was lazy. you standing next to Big Herc. I think that was the only time I've ever really like seen you sizable yeah. sized up and I'm taller, I'm taller than Big Herc, but he's pretty buff. Right. He was pretty buff. I mean, he got some big guns. I mean, he's, he's more buff than me, but um, I probably got I probably got an inch, maybe an inch and a half on him. Really? Yeah. I'm about I'm about two twenty five, so you know, I got a little fat, but not like I'm super fat or nothing. Right. But you know, I just worked out a lot, man. You know, you work out, you put on put on weight. You no, know, I got that big back for so a pull up pole. Right. See? See the big guns. You don't get that at commissary, man. You can't buy that. You gotta earn that. No. Yeah, you gotta earn that shit. <laughs> he's, we're staying, he's staying down here by Lennox, Lennox Mall. Yeah. For those we're that not, don't know Jack about Atlanta. Hey, we're not afraid of Lennox Square. We hear there's a lot of shootings down here, but we're, we're Oh, afraid. yeah, yeah. We're not afraid of that. We're cool. Yeah, I had to, you treat people. You I had people, to cover my goods and knives and shit. Where I'm parked, because, yeah, there's, like I was about to say, like you said, there's a lot of fucking shit that goes on down here. But there's, if you treat people, you treat people like people, they treat you like people. There's a shooting down here, like, every weekend. You know, you heard that, right? Yeah, no, I heard. But I'm saying, you got to treat people like people, man. I mean, you try to rip people off, you try to take advantage of people. Comes back to you. I did a lot of work right here at Lennox Mall. You know, I do construction, and we painted the entire left wing at one time. And one time I was doing the uh, uh, Vicky's Victoria's Secret in there, and right next to the store we were working, it, some guy had come in and busted out. You know, they have like those displays. Well, the store is like right next to one of the egg ent entrances or exits on the far side of the mall, and somebody busted into busted out the display, stole a diamond ring or something, and took off and got away. Was caught later on, but uh, held those people at gunpoint. Right there in the fucking mall. It's dangerous down here. Because there's a, um, there's a, a MARTA station. So what they do is they, they fucking rob them. They jump right on MARTA and they're gone. You, I mean, you, you can you can actually literally see. We worked, like I said, we worked here off and on for years. So I was here for, you know, weeks and weeks at a time. So it was all the time I see people running across the parking lot, running for MARTA. I mean, it's it's that crazy down here. And there's... there's Thieves here every single day.
Yeah, it don't look like it though, because I, yeah, I go, go, York, go to know? the food court. You can see, like, <laughs> like you know, some places you can feel when you're da- when it's dangerous. Mm-hmm. But a place like this, it doesn't feel dangerous. It feels actually pretty nice, right? You know what I mean? It, it, yeah, yeah, it don't, yeah, it's deceiving. Yeah, yeah you is. go, you go over there though at lunchtime, and it's you know fucking that is, right? heck. That is. Uh-uh. Corey Azra, writer director, who did Let Me Make the Martyr with Marilyn Manson, a, a movie. You never saw the movie? Mm-hmm. Marilyn Thanks Manson. for the plug, man. <laughs> Thanks for the plug. Came, like came out like 2017, 2018. He's a writer director. Writer director, what's his name again? Corey Azra. Blow me up. Head to the pool. Boy. Seth says he's a star. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's cool as shit. I met him in Sundance like five years ago. Right. He brought me to Sundance my first time. Uh huh. Right out of the penitentiary. I What's met him. it? He's like, you want to go to Sundance? What's that like? Oh, uh, Sundance is sweet. How long were you out before you went to Sundance? Like it's the two years? A year, two years, yeah. Got out in 2015. Went to Sundance like, what, 2017, right? Or 2018? The year you got out, the year I shot my first film. Yep. So you started yeah. doing shit the second you came out? 15, so running, seven too. hours, hey, seven years. How many that were you when we, you were still on probation? The first, uh, that was the first Probably. summer. We did Easter Bunny. That's you a know Easter summer? Bunny Assassin? Yeah. Uh-huh. That's who I did it with. That was my yeah. shooter and my editor. Levi Barnes. Follow him on Instagram. Levi Barnes. He's my editor and my shooter. He's coming up. He's doing my new film, Nightlife. We're about to drop. Hell yeah. We'll do somewhere. it. Somewhere, I don't know where yet. It'll be somewhere. <laughs> Cool, cool. So he said he's from New York, is that right? He's from Jersey. Jersey. He's in LA though now. Right. I'm originally from Queens myself. Yeah, I told you I had some crazy stories. Um, some that I wish I could tell, but some I can't. My father grew up in the shit, right? My dad was born in Brooklyn, and my uncle's uncle was the Joe Napolitano. I don't know if you know who that is. Mm-hmm. He, he run. He was like the head of the mafia in the seventies. Joe Napolitano. That was my uncle's uncle. He used to get my dad and my uncle work. And I probably shouldn't record all. Of I have to tell you off screen. Yeah, turn that shit off. We're good. 